This was part of a discussion we were having with uh, MOE, actually. Right. Um, and the people that we were speaking to, uh, they genuinely felt that we didn't give Singaporeans enough space, young people enough space. Um, too much of our school systems are there to manage your failure or prevent you from failing. Um, that's why we build in all the systems that we do. Right? And that's why the whole tuition industry is thriving. Right? Because really itself what it is is that it's a mechanism for prediction and control. These are what the questions are. We're going to predict them. Right? I'm going to give you security and stability and I'm going to keep making sure that you do this. Right? And we more or less communicate the narrative that actually, uh, don't worry, you won't fail. Right? And you heard this a lot in classrooms. Don't worry, you won't fail. Right? As if failure is, is really very bad. Yeah, and um, MOE is just more or less saying that this is within culture already. Yeah, it's not even something that they're creating anymore through policy. I mean, no one has a you know, do not fail policy. You know, it's, just, it's, it's not there. But it's locked into culture. Um, and they don't know how long it will take before uh, a fundamental keystone, which is teachers, will start changing mindsets. Right? And start teaching not with the management of your failure or success, but really teaching with your capacity to learn. Yeah. Um, and resilience comes from that. It really does. It comes from getting used to tripping, yeah, and going, it's okay. Right. And finding another way forward. Yeah. Does that answer your question? Don't give enough space. I find I'm guilty of that with my own children right now. <coughs> I'm not really sure whether I give them enough space. In many of the interviews that we were going through, what was interesting as a theme was this whole idea between uh, stability and chaos. And chaos being the natural state of things. Right? And I'm quite sure that there are transport systems in the world which are completely chaotic. Right? And you'll find that in the chaotic systems, right, um, every individual learns to adjust and finds a way around it anyway. The other way itself right, is not to uh, tolerate chaos and build in completely rigorous systems. Right? That's there. Uh, and to trust the system that, that it will work. And I think right now what happens is that uh, Singapore is very used to this and not tolerant at all of this. Right? And the whole idea itself is that we want to pull back and I'll say over here, keep it flawless, right? Um, which is why I think they want to bring it back to the, the government, because government will be efficient. And it's true, I, I honestly think itself the government will do a pretty damn good job, right, of making it effective again. Um, but I'm not sure whether it's healthy for us. Lah. Yeah. 